I was young when Amanda Perez came out and she had a couple of hits. Remember that song? God send me an angel from the heavens above. But I haven't heard from her since until she decided to go on Instagram Live and go off on her ex-wife. I have not heard from Amanda Perez in such a long time. And then when I saw this thumbnail, I was like, damn girl, what the fuck happened to you? She looks like a crackhead, I, I ain't gonna lie. Girl, what happened? Maybe the ex-wife, maybe she stressed you out a little too much, I don't know. But I wanna see this live, I wanna know what happened. Are y'all curious too? Cause I am. Y'all ready to watch the video? Let's get it. <laughs> Warning. The following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hunt Jr. discretion is advised. I never tried to holler. I like that discretion. I think I should start putting that on my Easy and Natalie videos. Because apparently people think that I don't like them. You guys, I never said I don't like them. I don't know them. I don't know who the fuck they are. And you don't know them neither. You see what you what you choose to see on video. And I see a different perspective. Um, it's okay to give an opinion. Because you guys give yours about me. So let's all give opinions. That's what YouTube is about. It's all right. Don't be in your feelings. All right, let's get back to the video. Long story short, she ended up talking to me. Okay, I ended up getting her number and talking to her. She lied and said she was 23 years old. Mind you, she was 18. 18 years old and I was already fucking in a relationship with her at a fucking show in San Antonio, Texas when her fucking cousin told me. But I had cared about her. So I fucking stayed with her and I realized, Damn. well, she's of age, thank God. She had a marriage and she had a kid. I thought the girl was a fucking grown ass woman and in all Damn. reality, she's a little fucking girl. And how old were you at the time? You're not making it clear, how old were you? She tried to sit here and say, I abused her and Valerie, both of them. Who the fuck Both is Valerie? Are the most disrespectful, ungrateful fucking people I've ever met. I have never been so fucking blood boiled in my life dealing with those two. And what's crazy is she'll talk about the daughter that I raised at one years old, that I provided for even when I had nothing. You want to act like I did something and made her the person she is? No, she's just like you, a bully. Oh, damn. An ungrateful person. Oh, damn. An evil person. So is Natalie the stepdaughter? Girl, you talking about your stepdaughter like that? Even if what you're saying is true, that's still the, the child that you raised since she was one. I could never talk about my child that way. Never. Even though you know their manipulative ways, their sneaky ways, you know, all these things, still. What? How is it that I'm not even in your guys' life anymore and you're still fucking up? Valerie's still getting in trouble in school. Oh, Valerie is her name. The what it was, you guys, is I was a discipliner. I was a real parent who loved her and wanted her to be right. But I was wrong for that. Same thing for my wife. Instead of her believing that I loved her, in her mind she thought like an immature little girl, like I was being a controlling person. No, you're disrespectful and you're going to learn how to respect me. I filed for divorce, you guys. Okay. I left my wife, and I'm going to tell you why I left her. Wait, I'm on the way hold on. There's abusive allegations? Is that what that is? Who were you abusive towards, allegedly? Was it the ex-wife or the daughter? Because you, you keep talking about discipline. You, you disciplined your daughter, and you, don't, you just wanted to be respected. So that's not good. In Las Vegas, with my family, and this girl entertains two fucking dudes on the airplane and gives her number to them. How about that shit? Mm. 13 years. Shit's real. I, I, look, you know why I'm on here, y'all? Because I want to show you that all those songs you hear are real. <laughs> this is real life shit right here. I had to watch my wife disrespect me. So are you telling me that God did not send you an angel? Did you fool us? You said that it was real, but it, apparently it's not. And I deserve to have the love that I'm, I'm going to get. She's over here trying to, to sabotage a relationship. And not even a relationship yet, just someone I'm talking to. All right. She's trying to make them believe I'm an abuser, sending videos of us fighting. Anna, please don't let me 
Don't let me go to that point. Because if they seen the videos of you, <laughs> trust me. Trust me. A bitch is going to beat your ass. You have spit in my fucking face. You have broken shit. Wait, what? Did she just threaten her ex-wife right now? I'm confused. Okay, so she can't make your the person you're with believe that you're an abuser unless they themselves are getting abused already or the footage the video footage that she sent over is actual i mean it's if the proof is there that means it's true and it just is so oh boy i'm throwing fucking bricks at my fucking car it's I terrible never cheated on you i never snuck on you keep that shit real tell them how fucking loyal i was to you and how I took care of a child that wasn't mine, but you continuously told me she ain't yours. You ain't her dad. Damn. Oh, but I'm I'm spending money on her though, and I'm raising her, right? I hate I'm that shit. I'm keeping a roof over her head, right? That's what I'm doing. I hate that shit. You gave one fuck about me. All you wanted to do was use. Oh yeah, in the beginning, you was that in love little girl. But then you got up in your motherfucking head. You thought your looks could keep me. And it couldn't. Sitting there inviting friends over to these motherfucking concerts and trying to holler at their fucking girlfriends? You thought I was some dumbass bitch? Well, you were. Is that what you thought? You were dumb. For 13 years, you said. <laughs> you, you stayed with the girl. And I let this shit slide because I knew you'd fuck up again. Like you fucked up in Vegas. So let's go back to the Vegas, right? I'm in the plane and we're separated because sometimes you can't sit together. But see, my son only wants to be with me. So he fucking sat with me and she sat in between two dudes, okay? Now, in my mind, you should be able to trust your fucking wife no matter who she's sitting around. But no, I'm sitting there. Well, first off, I, that wouldn't even be coming to my mind at all if I trusted my, my girl. Like, we're all sitting in assigned seats. Like, I wouldn't even be thinking, of, oh, she's sitting in between two dudes. Well, you know, if you trust your girl, like, I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I'm trying to figure out what movie I'm about to watch during this flight girl that just shows you you got a little jealous and maybe you have every right to be maybe she's given you many reasons for that but damn no trust there playing i hear yapping and yapping and laughing and giggling i stand up a couple hours into the fucking flight and she's sitting here drinking with these motherfuckers cool okay you want to have a good time Right? But mind you guys, when I got in the fucking plane, there was a fucking girl sitting next to me and she sat there and told me, you better not fucking talk to no girl because I know how they are. But you entertaining two motherfuckers? You entertaining two dudes and that even the half of it, y'all. She leans in and gives this motherfucker her number. That's where it's fucked up, you know? So you know what I did? I got off the plane and I said, did you give this dude your number? And you know what she said? Yeah, but look hesitant, right? I said, you stupid fucking bitch. Damn, girl. That's what the fuck I said. You so you are abusive. <laughs> girl. That's verbal abuse. Uh, I hate that about our community. I really do. See, I'm okay with women fighting other women. If they're studs, if they're femmes, femme on femme, stud on stud, whatever, because they're all women. I don't believe in violence in relationships at all. Doesn't matter man, 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 woman, 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 stud, femme, 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 stud, stud, no. You don't hit your partner, okay? You also don't verbally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually abuse them neither. Like what is wrong with y'all? It's a problem in the straight community, but it's, I think it's even more of a problem in our community. People think that it's okay to still hit your partner because, well, she's a, she's a girl too. No, no, what is wrong with y'all? You don't do that. You claim to love this person, you don't hit them. You don't call them bitches. Like, what, what is it that you're trying to do? Just beat them down and beat their insecurities lower and lower so that you can feel better about yourself? That's disgusting. The fucking bitch. And you know why I said it like that? Because I was so tired of all the fucking years of her being a grimy ass bitch. I don't never like to call no girl no fucking bitch. Well, you I'm did with. to your wife. That's the most disrespectful thing you could say. You but said it yourself. A blow, boils your blood. Oh, is my that right? God, you say so many things that you don't even want to say. Don't do it though. This girl has talked about my career. <laughs> she has talked about my finances. Mind you, she has no idea because that's the type of motherfucker she was. I couldn't even trust her. 
For years, I've been trying to leave her, but my heart felt bad. I felt bad every time she manipulated me with her fucking narcissist ways, crying, looking me in my eyes, making me believe she truly loved me. And I felt bad. I thought to myself, man, this girl went through a lot in her life. She's got to know somebody who's going to care about her. But look what she did. Look what you did, Anna. You did this. Anna is you her, fucked this up. her name. Okay. You cheated. She sat there, you guys, after Vegas and was fucking with a dude for a whole year. Tell her to take her shirt off. She's got his fucking name tattooed on her back. What? On her back. With that guy from the plane? Damn. Well, I guess you had every reason to not trust her, so. <laughs> Damn. My 13 years of being with somebody. But you know what? It was okay to me, you guys, because I knew it had been over for a long time. <sighs> I had stopped doing so much with this girl, including touching her. It didn't feel right, and that was just God. That was God telling me, don't do it. You're not <laughs> listening when I told you the, the other times to let go. You held on. So now I got to do other things. That's, That's true. what happens. I do believe that. That's what happens when God wants to get that bad out of you. I do believe that when it comes to me and relationships, I know things aren't good. I know things are not right. I know I need to move on, but I won't because in my and the way my mind works and everything in life, including my career, YouTube, relationships, when I have a goal set, I'm going to reach it. So my goal is to stay with this person and do the good and the bad and we'll figure things out. And I'm committed. I stay in it way longer than I should because God presents all these things to you. Be like, God, I know, I know, you're, I know, I know, but you know, I, g I give excuses. She had to lie because of this, you know, she only hung out with this person because of this, and um, well, she had to use me because of this. Well, she cheated on me because of this. When you ain't fucking listening, God's gotta do the most dramatic experience that you have to go through. And once you go through it, you're like, okay, <laughs> okay, God, I'ma listen. Sometimes, man, you, you just, just listen to the first or two signs, that's it, just go away from you. I'm so much happier. I'm, I never stopped. I never stopped to look for her. I never chose to chase her. Why would I chase anybody who did that? She wants to sabotage what I'm doing right now with someone because she knows, she knows how good I am. Don't you, Anna? You know that I'm going to love yeah. that person so no. fucking much. No. You know that I'm going to fucking give them that's, everything that's, that I tried to give that in the background? Fucked it up. Who's that in the background? The girl? That's, is that your girl? Why are you crying? Why are you on this crying? Tell the world. Girl. I hate you. And you can never have me. What the fuck? Not a touch. Not a kiss. All right. She, she's been through a lot of hurt, obviously. But she might still be in love with her ex. Maybe she would have still stayed with her ex if her ex wasn't such a hoe. <laughs> I don't know, but why are you crying over somebody else when you're already in a relationship with somebody? I would look at that and question that if I was her girlfriend. Let that shit go, girl. Those tears shouldn't Every be happening song that now. Every written in the 13 years that I put out was about her. Remember, any fan that knows me. That's sad. That is sad. Any fucking fan that knows me, I cannot write unless something happens to me. I can't fix the pieces to the broken glass. You and Valerie were horrible people. And I pray God has mercy on your soul. I prayed for both of you. But you gotta let me go, cause I don't want you no more. Mm. I wanna move on with my life. You go sure? be with that man. I'm sorry he doesn't complete you. This girl was just trying to be with me, you guys. Just trying to tell me, stop the divorce. Nobody feels like you. Nobody touches like you. Nobody smells like you. Ha ha, bitch. What the That's what the fuck you get. What is happening? Show the fucking videos of me screaming at the top of my lungs, calling you out your fucking name. Girl, I don't even got to see the videos. The way you're explaining your relationship and your marriage, it was toxic like a motherfucker from both ends. Y'all do not belong together. So stop crying over her, please. You supposedly moved on. Hopefully it's a healthier relationship. But girl, you have some things to work on yourself. 
show them how much I fucking had so much hurt and anger in my fucking mind and heart for you. Threatening me, telling me she's going to tell um, uh, about uh, my finance. I don't give a fuck. I am so blessed and you hate it. You're so mad that you're not ever going to get it again. You're so mad I give it to our son. You're mad that he loves me so much, huh? You, this girl tells me that I'm, I'm, he's nothing to me. That I'm a plus one, but you guys, oh my God. I'm on the That's terrible. First. Every paper that I'm first. I'm so sick of this, you guys. If you believe that fucking weirdo, go be over there with her. I believe both of you. What, what I'm doing right here is real. What I'm saying is real. I could put videos out all day, you guys. We don't need of it. this girl hitting me while I'm driving. I mean, fuck it. Just I have post it. Reports. I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll she react sat to there it. and told me how her daughter was doing so bad in school because of me. They ain't been with me in almost four months, you guys. And that girl's almost, I think she's been kicked out, I don't know how many times. She's disrespectful to her, too. Like, I'm tired, y'all. So, I'm going to save this live so everybody in the fucking world can see what Amanda Perez went through with her fucking wife of 13 years. It's what you both went through. Put those videos out. I told you to put them out. Put them out because I want people to see how fucking angry I was. So to the person, too, that I talked to, that I've been talking to and that I've been trying to be good to and I try to show. I did this to show you shit is real. I've never, ever abused her. I've never, ever, ever did anything but try to love her and get her to respect me and be grateful. That's something she's never going to be until she has it on her own. And I'm pretty sure that she's starting to feel it because all she does is fuck with me all day long. That sucks, man. She'll act like she's asking about her son. but don't. And even you're attached to her for life. That's what sucks. Y'all got to be careful who you have these kids with, who you have these baby childrens with. You're stuck with them. And it's not till they're 18. It's for the rest of your lives because they're going to have children. Y'all are going to be around. There's going to be birthday parties. There's graduations. You're always going to be stuck together. Ah. Oh. It's so hard, though. I understand. I understand. Because obviously I have exes. Imagine if I had children with them. I would have been fucked, too. Talk to them that long. She's constantly wondering about what I'm doing and who I'm talking to. How the fuck do you think you have the right when you fuck somebody? And been fucking them for months now. I kept my fucking mouth shut because I'm wrong like that. I didn't want to fucking hurt my son and let him see this in life. But I'm tired of you. I need the world to fucking see exactly how She scares how you me. Are. Amanda scares me. I feel like she'll beat my ass. Your own fucking sister. It'll only Your take two own seconds. Your own fucking sister told me everything you did. You know why? Because she knows how good I was to you. She knows you'll never find another one like me. And that's your fucking karma. Your karma's going to be that you're never, ever, ever going to forget me. Every partner you're with, they're not going to be me. And you know what? Regardless Girl. if this person wants to stay talking <laughs> to me or believe me, I'm going to find love. That's too much. It's, it's been for me. You guys, people need to stop saying that. You'll never find someone like me. Shut the fuck up. Of course they won't. They don't want you. That's why they're not with you. Even when they do want you back, it doesn't matter. There's someone else out there for them they just haven't met them yet every single one of us are replaceable in relationships it all depends on the person and what they're looking for and what they need Ooh, child. just spitting facts just spitting facts i'm still gonna kiss somebody else oh, i already have and it was way better than you girl the feeling was different the feeling was real and they need to know that i love you guys <laughs> So all my fans, Sorry for my facial expression. With nothing. No, oh, with this is the girl. Absolutely. This is Anna. This is her, her ex-wife. Oh, here we go. Is she in Vegas again? Where's, where's that guy that's headed on your back? The only thing that I want is for her to leave me alone. That's Dude, it. she's pretty. She's pretty. Look, I am a grown woman. I'm going to do whatever I want, whoever I want, whenever I want. Okay. You guys will never know. You know? It's nobody's business no more. I'm not gonna live for the internet. The bar's over here. He's cute, girl, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, you guys, I'm at the casino right now. 
I feel like con toda esta mala vibra, a lo mejor voy a ganarme algo yo. You know? Estoy ganando todo el puto día. Ganando, ganando, ganando. She's saying she's going to be winning. She's been winning all day. So, it's all good. A little quick translation. Hey, I don't want nothing from her, but she got everything from me. That's my son that I'm sharing with her because I'm a woman at my word. Girl, if she's on the birth certificate, it doesn't matter. By law, she can get, she can share that too. It ain't up to you. Que bonito me miro. No. She is pissed though. The way she's walking, the way she's talking. No, yo no me quiero enseñar. I want another drink. And she will go straight to the bar. She wants, she's sipping on that drink. Someone said they stole the product. I can't. I lost what? Yeah, this girl. Oh my god, you guys are annoying. She's pissed. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get on here like talk bad and shit, but I don't even have that. She's energy tipsy. Like that. I got a paisa. What is a paisa? You don't know what a paisa is, girl? I, no, I wouldn't. They them. What? You don't know me? No. Sorry. Let me see this man. Paisa is como un mexicano. She could love her son. That's a child. I want to see this man. Girl. <laughs> Someone said now you're going to use the other one. I don't use no one. I live in my own house. Please don't judge me. But I, if I am to date or ever be in a relationship with someone, I am seeking someone who, number one, has no children. And number two, is a lesbian. A true lesbian. Femme. Okay? Those are hard to find. I have never met one. I'm 38. I have never met one. Everyone I've been with have been bisexual or claim to be lesbian, but they end up, they all end up with men. <laughs> and I'm not biphobic. Okay? I'm not. But I learned quickly from my experience of dating women, bisexual women. Their feelings towards us is genuine in the moment. It's real. I don't doubt that. But it's temporary. Because by the end of the day, what they're seeking is a family that is accepted in society with a man who can provide, support, and protect them. For whatever reason, they don't feel that a woman do can do that for them. So they'd rather have stability in that way than being with a woman. Sometimes for them, feelings are, feelings are not enough. Love is not enough. So that's my experience that's why i need me a lesbian woman who is not just going to be judged holding my hand one day and then the next day when they hold hands with another man all of a sudden the judgment stops i need a woman who who understands my lifestyle goes through the, and goes through the same experiences that i do in life okay that's it that's all i needed to say and this girl i mean i ain't trying to judge but she seemed like the type that would have always gone to a man. She was young when she when she when she got with Amanda, and Amanda was a, a big star at the time. That was temporary. I pay my own bills. How am I using anyone, even her? Think about it. She's got a house. Pay her own bills. How old is she now? I'm curious to know. Show the face. I look cute. Okay, she looks good. Oh damn, she looks good. So why does Amanda look like a crackhead? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, he's Puerto Rican. Ding, ding, ding. He's Puerto Rican. I thought I was lesbian too until a lesbian did me dirty. That's what they always say. It's so annoying. See what I'm saying, girl? Really, guys? It's not that you, it's not that you thought you were a lesbian. You were too young to really recognize that you were in love with one person. So you didn't know who you were. At 15, you don't know who the hell you are. At 20, 30, sometimes 40, 50, you don't know who the fuck you are. You're still trying to figure it out. Girl. 19 on airplane. This girl put me in the middle seat. Next to two men. Y'all, come on. Let's be real. A man is better than me, that's fine. I'm not trying to be better than nobody. She always thought she was better than me. Look at this guy, he's trying to show his face. Look at <laughs> I think that's the guy with the red hat. He, he keeps trying to slide in the background 
to show his face, but she keeps moving it away. Hey, I okay, want I see. y'all to know that, that? it's going to be all right. Because he's temporary, too, though. Puerto Ricans are the best. You're definitely going... You're definitely doing the life right. <laughs> no judgment, but one of my ex-girlfriends were Puerto Rican and... I love y'all. Y'all are so funny. It was a bad experience. Well, okay. So, I was with Valerie Zapp from 15 to 18. I met Amanda when I was 18. I'm 30 years old now. Ya le di 13 años, okay? Wait, that's confusing now. That's confusing now. Okay, so she was with her baby's dad when she was 15. Up until 18. Amanda said she was already in a relationship with her when she found out that she was only 18. Already in a relationship. That means before 18. One of y'all is lying. She must have been just 17 or something. I don't know. At this moment, que Ana vive por ella misma with my own identity away from Amanda. Uh, I am my own person it. without her. I agree, girl. I think you need to be single. I think... What was my last straw with her? She let me stranded in the fucking airport, bro. If I didn't have this no guy fun, in the red hat no in the background. Broke, bitch, See like, how she moved it? Then I would have been stranded there. <laughs> but I'm not. I have my own he, coins. Always did. Because I don't he believe keeps in trying to, the dream they sell. I don't he keeps, do that. See that? He keeps trying to be in the view, and she's like, no. <laughs> like, I know y'all want me to use her so bad, but there's nothing I needed from her. I do it all on my own. Everything. Everything. That's him? Hold on. No, girl, I want to see. I want to see. 13 years is a lot of time. I was loyal to her. I was good wife. Yo di mi parte, pero ahora ya, it's my prime time, baby. Shit. Imagínense si le doy otros 10 años, ahí me acabo la verga. Imagínate si le doy 10 años más, I would be a 40-year-old lady. Uh -huh. No, no, mames. It's time. So she's 30? Sorry, I missed it. I'm over here paying attention the to the guy. The guy here don't even speak English. Yes, he does. What the fuck? This is America. My back is famous right now. Uh, I hate women My like that. My back is famous right now. Look at that. And then he puts his hand there. Like, she's, <laughs> she, does, Mary, she does Christmas, not want to film you. Leave you her alone. Even the haters, too. They're still here watching me. I love y'all. Because you're temporary, too. She's having a good time, okay? What, stop trying to get in the fucking video. God, he's looking, like, he's looking like a real groupie, for real. I would be so annoyed if I'm the guy and I'm there with her <laughs> hanging out. Why are you on the phone live talking about your ex? Some, like, sometimes people do I'd be so forever, annoyed. Me loca y me quedo forever. No, mami. I'd leave. I'd be like, hey, girl, you know. We'll hang out later. I gave someone 13 years. How many have y'all done that? How many of you bitches have gave a nigga 13 years? If you did right now, it's because he deserves it. Is Val okay now? No, Val is not okay. Val is fucking traumatized by somebody. I hate when Latinos use the N-word. I don't like that. Some people are okay with it, but... I know it's about how you treat somebody, but what I say is that I'm not going to be young forever. I have my life to live, you stupid bitch. Yeah, I am Mexican, and if I say the N-word, it's because I'm raised around a lot of black people. You don't even know. It doesn't matter. That, see, that's the reason they always give, y'all. I hate that shit. I'm glad someone brought that up. I hate that shit. Oh. Okay, that's fine. You want to use the N-word amongst your, your group of black friends, and they're cool with it? Cool. Use it with your group. Don't bring it out here into the real world because a lot of us, a lot of other Latinos don't like that shit. A lot of other black people don't like that shit. If, you, if you're not black, don't use the damn word. It's that simple, that easy. You're not with your group right now. You're with a couple of Latinos and you're on social media. You don't know any of us. Don't use the word. I get niggas, I get bitches. That's who I am. Don't play with me. I made you my one priority for 13 years. You should appreciate it that. That's it. That's the whole video. Comment anybody that you want me to react to and I'll check them out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Peace.